Oh, there. Thank you. Okay. Um, hi, everyone. Uh, we're going to get started with this third day of the workshop. Um, I hope it's going well so far for you. We're, we're at uh, past the halfway point now. Um, what we're going to do today is focus on the somatic variant calling. So this morning, we're going to do somatic short variants, SNPs and indels. And this afternoon, we're going to go over somatic copy number variation. Um, kind of the same model as yesterday, a mix of talks and then practicals after the coffee break. Um, today should be a little bit more relaxed. We had a lot of material for you uh, yesterday. Um, today, uh, I think we, we, can, uh, we can take it a little more easily. Um, so we'll start with a presentation on somatic short variants. Before that, though, I want to show you just a few of the slides from the intro on the first day, uh, just to reset in your mind kind of the context um, in which we are now for somatic variant discovery. So I'm not going to go through the entire presentation that I gave you on Monday, but I want to just recap a few of the, um, a few of the first slides just to set the stage. And then Andre will go into the details of how the somatic short variance workflow works. All right. Um, oh, slide advancer. Did we lose the slide advancer? Um, I can, I can uh, hit the keyboard. Or not. Oh, do I need to put the thing in? Yeah, there is one. Yeah. Um, There's one free part there. That's like oh, oh, over there? Okay. Pause. <clears throat> Okay, excellent, we're back in business. All right, so um, what's involved in somatic variant discovery and how is it different from germline variant discovery? Um, we went over a number of uh, details yesterday about how germline variant discovery works and we showed you kind of how the modeling is done, what are the expectations uh, in the germline context. In the somatic context, we have some different expectations. We have to adjust our model uh, because of the very different environment we find ourselves in, in terms of the underlying biology, right? Um, this was, if you recall, kind of the diagram of how, what's happening within a tumor. And again, here for somatic, we're talking specifically about cancer, though there are some uh, types of somatic variation, obviously, that are not uh, related to cancer. Uh, but that's what we're talking about today. Here we have the evolution of a tumor from an original driver event um, that sparks off the chain reaction that will eventually lead to a cancerous tumor. Um, and we have a number over time, as, as time progresses, we have a number of events, mutation events that arise within the tissue. Um, some of them, like the little ones in white, uh, those ones will be neutral and not cause any, um, any real consequences. Uh, but then the red, the big red ones will be what we call the driver events that spark new changes that confer some kind of evolutionary advantage um, to the, the, the subclones that are, that are produced. Um, and those will proliferate and compete with others uh, within, the, within the cancerous tissue. And so what we're looking for, what we're interested here in this context is the driver mutations. Um, but what we will pick up when we're sampling and sequencing this material is that we'll be picking up both the driver mutations and passenger mutations. Um, and we're interested in, uh, we're, we're going to be using, at least for the, the morning part, for the, the somatic short variants, we're going to use this paradigm of a normal tissue sample, uh, healthy and hopefully unaffected by somatic mutations, and uh, tissue from the tumor, so that we can look at uh, 
you know, find the set of mutations that has happened in a tumor and subtract the normal germline variation from that to identify very specifically what is specific to the tumor um, in terms of the mutations that are arising as it progresses. Again, the complication that we're dealing with in a cancer context, uh, you remember the slide as well, is that when we're sampling the tissue, we're not sampling a pure clone, we're sampling a mix of cells, and depending on the skill of the person doing the sampling, on the complexity of the tumor, and the stage of progression uh, of the disease, we'll have um, more or less heterogeneity in terms of both the mix of tumor and normal tissue that we're uh, collecting. And also within the tumor tissue, there's some heterogeneity of different subclones with different uh, mutations in them. So let's focus on the short, uh, short variants to start with. And Andre is going to tell us uh, how we deal with the fact that we now have lower signal that we're looking for, and we have much higher um, problems uh, in terms of the, the noise. Uh, contamination, the heterogeneity, um, other mutations that are complicating the picture uh, that we're trying to draw, okay? And so I'm gonna stop here with this intro presentation. I just wanted to remind you of the particular challenges that we're dealing with in the somatic context. Um, and Andre is going to explain how we actually can identify uh, these mutations with high sensitivity and precision. <laughs> 